you have been lied to people have said certain things to you that are actually not true and you actually believe it and that's the sad part and, and that's where i used to be in this video i want to share with you and break down with you the lie that you have to sacrifice your friends your family you have to sacrifice all the good things that you love so you can grow your and scale your business it's going to do great things the worst advice that i ever got was that i'm loving my family by sacrificing more time with them sacrificing all my relationships so that I can grow the business. And this may be you right now that you chose to listen to this horrible advice. And I, I first of all, want to say that I empathize with you. I feel you. And I get that because that's what happened with me too. And I believed it. Unfortunately, I believe that I have to sacrifice all the things that I love, all the things that I enjoy, my wife, my relationship with God, so that I can grow this business that's going to give me everything else that I want in life. Just overnight, this realization, but it came from continuous times where I actually believe this. I actually believe that, hey, I need to limit my times within those other areas. It led me to a place of more unfulfillment, love and joy and peace in my life, and ultimately giving away things that at the end of the day don't really matter. I, I actually think that it's really good because it's something that needs to be talked about way more because if you get the business and you sacrifice everything else in your life that truly matters, the things that you love, what's the point of all of it? I've come to grow so much more convicted on this concept that nothing else matters than my relationship with God and my relationship with my wife. There's so many missed opportunities that come because of being on the hamster wheel and being in the rat race of entrepreneurship. We think we step out of the rat race and we preach, hey, we're, we're out of the rat race and you're not an employee anymore, you're a business owner. The reality is you step into this other arena. You've been lied to so that other people can have your gain, but they've preached to you this message that simply is not true. And the reason I share this with you because I fell into this too and have struggled with getting over these beliefs that have come into my head that you have to be working 70 hours a week to make a ton of money you have to or be fulfilled or be happy and yeah they may not be saying this specifically or they may be they may have saying hey every heartbeat in the next six months is going to be dedicated to me so that you can be financially free it's like where this is so wrong so and the reason that i share this stuff with you because i actually care about you and i care about you and what you love and i, I wish i had somebody that came into my life and told me this that hey you don't have to sacrifice your family you don't have to sacrifice all the things that you love the hobbies that you enjoy so that you can build a business in 90 days and you can become rich and you can get all make all this money so that you can enjoy those things later but why don't you grow a business that you actually love that you actually enjoy why don't you grow a business that you can still have an abundance of both and mindset where you can be a great business owner and you can be a great husband and it's not an either or life or world but you can do both you can have friends you can enjoy life we get caught in this hustle culture where you have to sacrifice your friends everything you love and you have to just work all day or you're not going to be successful but who defines success of sacrificing all these things that you love who defined all that and that that's what i want to ask you is how do you define success has it been a preconceived notion has it been something that because these people are making more money than you that you've chose to believe or that you've been forced and, and lied to and deceived and manipulated Manipulated to believe so that you can build their businesses bigger and higher and make them more money or is that truly something that you believe because I, I dare to ask is that something that you truly believe and I'm speaking to myself just as much as I am to you because because when I stepped into this business of selling life insurance I was taught that I need to sacrifice those things that I love I need to maybe not hang out with my wife as much. I need to, in the end, sacrifice everything that I truly love. And I know that you clicked on this video because you fully believe the same thing as me. You believe the question before, why can't I spend time with my family and enjoy the moments that I get to spend with my kids while they're young? Why can't I do all these things? Like, what's the point? And I've had to ask myself, that question as well so for you the first thing is whose dream am i living the second thing is what do i want what do i actually want i was challenged because i i've hired a few coaches in my life to be able to help me with these things and go deep into my inner soul into my heart what do i really want i've had to ask the question what do i really want in life what do i really enjoy doing because i've i've been in the past year and a half been infiltrated with so many things of get the lamborghini get this like nice fancy car when it's like desire that but at what cost 
And so for you, ask yourself for the second, like the second thing, ask yourself, what do you truly want? What is the business that you really want to build? What do you really want life to look like so you can actually chase those things? So for me, look up different things on how much traveling costs, how much rent's gonna be, how much food's gonna be. That's where my target is, making 30 to $50,000 per month in profit, working 15 to 20 hours per week. And because I know that if I'm striving towards that, I'm striving and optimizing towards working less, making more money, working on higher leverage tasks and opportunities, that yeah, I may not make $500,000 per month, but also I'm able to live a more fulfilled life. So for you watching right now, write down what do you want? What do you actually want in life? And what's the life, right? It may be, and nothing's like out of the picture right here. How many hours do you want to be working? What do you want to be doing with your time? How much money do you want to be making or do you need to make to be able to live comfortably and live the dreams that you actually got into the business or got into started your own business for? These questions really help me figure out, hey, I want to work 15 to 20 hours a week, make 30 to $50,000 in profit per month, that it is possible with the right systems in place with the right opportunities in place this allowed me to unlock a new freedom that i hope you can find too so i want to leave you with that what do you truly want and the third thing is how do you want to do it don't let your dreams and worldviews be shaped by other people who are lying and manipulating you to be able to grow their business higher do what you want follow your dreams and live this life with no regrets i'll see you guys on the next one peace